sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning, Fairbanks, and thanks for joining us. Today is Tuesday, February the 5th, 2013, and in the news, an Anchorage man has life-threatening injuries suffered when his snowmobile crashed on the Denali Highway. Alaska State Troopers say 43-year-old Lauren Howard was driving Sunday near the Cantwell Lodge when he lost control of the machine. Howard was not wearing a helmet. He was transported to Fairbanks Memorial Hospital. Troopers say alcohol is a factor in that crash. Oil and gas industry representatives are scheduled to testify today on Governor Sean Parnell's plan to overhaul Alaska's oil tax structure. Parnell says it makes more Alaska more competitive. Democrats have labeled the plan a giveaway. The Alaska Oil and Gas Association has said it doesn't go far enough. A resolution opposing executive actions on gun control has been officially introduced to an Alaska Senate panel. The measure urges President Obama to refrain from any further actions that would restrict the ownership of firearms. It also asks Congress to make sure that the Second Amendment is protected from executive actions. And Senator Lisa Murkowski says a national energy plan should cut harmful greenhouse gas emissions, but not by simply raising petroleum prices. Murkowski says the cost of heating homes in rural Alaska can be 50% of a person's income, and she's not going to be the senator who tells her state's residents that they have to pay even more. And a quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today it's mostly cloudy, occasional flurries and patchy fog early in the morning, high 0 to 10 above. Tonight mostly cloudy, lows 5 to 15 below, and tomorrow cloudy with scattered snow showers in the afternoon, highs around 7 above. Extended outlook is largely the same all week, maybe a few degrees warmer for the weekend. Air index is moderate in Fairbanks, good in North Pole, and the aurora activity is forecast to be quiet. That's all we have for right now. Thank you very much for joining us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, be sure to go to our website at webcenter11.com or download our app for Android or Apple. And from all of us here at the News Center, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.